Aloha and welcome to our video on mountains and plates. In this video we will identify the types of mountains associated with various types of convergent and divergent plate boundaries. We will also describe the role of accretion in the formation of continents and mountain building. So the first type of boundary we'll talk about is this ocean to ocean convergent boundary. Now remember that's going to be oceanic crust with oceanic crust and we're going to have this subduction and as this oceanic crust is being subducted we're going to see this melting that's going to cause magma formation which is going to rise up to the surface and we're forming these volcanic island arcs. So we'll see mountains but they'll be volcanic mountains in nature. And this is the first type of boundary. We can also have ocean continental convergent boundaries and this one we'll see this oceanic crust but this time it's a continental crust that it's going to collide with. And as it does so we see the subduction, we see the melting again but instead of forming a oceanic arc we're going to form a continental volcanic arc so we're going to see more volcanic activity this way as well now we would kind of think that if we're seeing this convergent boundary we're going to be talking about subduction we're going to be talking about volcanic activity but when we have a continental continental convergent boundary then it's kind of more like a car wreck and if you ever looked at the hoods of a car when they collide they kind of buckle up and that's what we kind of see going on here we have one continental plate going this way, the other one coming this way, and they're going to collide and form this big mountain range here. Now the best example of this is if we have the Asia plate and the India plate, then we're seeing this occur currently, and we form the Himalayan mountains, including like Mount Everest. And India is still moving, so Mount Everest is still growing. So we don't have volcanic activity, but we still have mountain building activity on a convergent boundary. So that's our convergent boundaries. What if we have a divergent boundary? Well, we talked about divergent boundaries and we said that the plates were moving away from each other, creating this gap, and we call that gap a rift valley. In that gap is where we're gonna see magma rise up and we'll see volcanic activity going this way. So in Africa, there's a rift valley and that's where we have some volcanoes like Mount Kilimanjaro that are forming. This is also how we form our mid-oceanic ridges. So that kind of explains our boundaries. Most of the boundaries are going to have volcanic activity, but when we do have the continental continental, we'll still get mountain building without that volcanic mountain building process. Now, one of the terms that you're going to hear about is accretion. And accretion is where we're adding bits, pieces, and things of that nature from one plate to a different plate to build it up. And if we look down here, we can see that we have an island arc, and I'll show you how that's going to collide in here. But we also have these displaced continental fragments. And what that is, is that's what we're talking about, is this accretion, is they're just kind of adding up to that. So let's take a look at what that really looks like. Now in this picture, what we're seeing is we're seeing a continental landmass and an oceanic landmass and a convergent boundary. And you can see that there's this inactive volcanic island arch here. And as this oceanic plate is subducting and moving towards the continental plate, we'll see that this island arc is also going to be moving in. And ultimately, it'll fill in where the trench is, but we can also see some mountain building over here where it does actually have that collision. So these islands are going to break off, fill in the trench, and start adding to that accretion, adding to that new material to the continental plate. Okay, well that's the introduction for this unit. As always, they'll give you more information in the lessons. Good luck with the lessons and the quizzes, and we'll see you in the next video.